Good evening, everybody. Hi, I'm Linda, the corseted jewel lady, and I'm here to show you a bling in time. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you some fantastic jewelry. Hi, I am a star consultant with Paparazzi Accessory, and we sell $5 jewelry. I'm also the owner, founder, and entrepreneur of the corseted jewel lady boutique, uh, where we also sell $5 jewelry. So there's my buddy Lisa coming in. Yeah, this is the day before New Year's Eve. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna see a lot of jewels today. If you're new to me, I do ship to Puerto Rico, Guam, the Virgin Islands, and the US, and I sell one to four pieces. Uh, I will ship them for $4, and anything five or more pieces, I will ship for free. So it's really a good, a very good deal, and you can just come in and relax and enjoy the show. And I see Sharon's in and Lisa's in and Sherry. Hi, everybody. Are you ready for some good jewels? I have a lot of a lot of stuff today. I hope everybody had a good week so far. I know it's kind of those shorter weeks around holidays where you're super busy and probably going a lot of places. Um, if you can, you know, this year is a little bit different, but um, you know, at least we try to make the best of what we have. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just start out here kind of slow and easy and just kind of show you everything that I have. Um, if you like something, you know the routine. I'm going to hold up a number. If you like it, you say sold the number and put an emoji and I'll get that piece off to you. Um, if you have any friends that like jewelry and who doesn't like jewelry, right? Please share this uh, presentation with them. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but don't tell them it's $5 jewelry. Mm -mm. Let me surprise them. Let me get the, to a place where they really want something and then I go, oh yeah, by the way, it's $5. They're not going to believe, they're, they're not even going to look at the jewelry if it's $5. But once they come in and see the quality, as all of you have seen, you're going to know this This is not anything about the price and quality. The quality is there. There's Shelly. And, um, you know, we're just going to have a good time. Everybody can get the look they want. Today, I am wearing the Fashion Fix for January Magnificent Musings. Now, let me grab this because I have a lot of people buying this one. And on the 4th of January, I am going to try to get as many of these that I can. As you can see, here are these just slamming earrings right here with the necklace that also has another pair of earrings. Check out that ring. Isn't, doesn't that look like an antique that maybe it was passed down from past generations to you? And then you have that awesome looking bracelet that's kind of, it's got the bigger stone with the little one with the bigger and it alternates all around and it's on a lobster claw clasp, which is really good because then it just elevates it and makes it look a lot more expensive than it really is. Although the quality is still there, so don't be fooled. So anyway, did you all have a good week so far? Everybody get everything done that they needed to do. Got all your shopping done for New Year's Eve so that tomorrow you can just roll right into that big party that everybody's having. And there's Galen. Um, I'm not doing anything. Not doing any big parties. Uh, I saw some things on Facebook were saying like, um, you know, I, I'm still debating on what I'm going to wear, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into it or something. And so now I don't know if I'm going to go and I'm sitting at home. So yeah, this is crazy. Um, but anybody have a birthday this week? Anybody who's a New Year's Eve or a New Year's Day baby? Wouldn't that be something? I always wanted to have one of those. I did have a baby in January, but she came at the later part of January. So I didn't get to have that New Year's, New Year's Day baby, although that would have been kind of fun. Uh, but probably not for her. I know. I, I mean, really, you guys, seriously. <laughs> In fact, Alana, I'll put your name down for one so I don't forget because, um, well, so far I have, uh, for those who are on, I have Dana's getting this whole set. Nope, Dana's getting the ring and the necklace. So she's getting this and the necklace. And then, of course, these pieces, all four pieces, or really five because you get the other pair of earrings, is $20. $20, can you believe it? <gasps> and then let me see who else is here. Shy, oh, do you know my husband? Well, first of all, I looked out of my window last night and I really couldn't even see out of it because all of the snow was at like the screens. You couldn't even see out. So I was like, oh, then my husband goes out today and does all the snow blowing and snow shoveling. And you know, we have a big corner lot. So there's a lot of work to do here. And he's like, I can't wait till we move to Florida. 
And I'm like, I know, we're not moving to Florida. We're going to get another place down there. So when it's all this terrible weather, we're just taking off and we're going to go down there. Hopefully, you know, hopefully by the end, hopefully by next year, I'll be broadcasting from a palm tree right behind me and a big margarita in my hand is what I'd love to be doing. But um, yeah, let me get, Lana, I'll put you down for a set here. You know what, you guys? This one is so cool. I have a feeling that within the first 30 seconds of me getting on, it's going to be sold out. But I'm going to do my hardest to make sure I get all of the ones that I want. But, you know, and there's Nancy. And Nancy also is going to be getting this set. Nancy, this is Magnificent Musings. I will be ordering this on the 4th. But your name is already down for a set. So we don't have to worry about you. Sherry Fashion Fix Necklace Only. And you know, Sherry, it does come with its own little earrings. I'll show you the earrings. Uh, you don't buy them extra. They come with every necklace. There's a free free pair of earrings. Well, they say free. But let me just get them because you're going to love these. I mean, really, these are as elegant. Well, these are a little bit more, you know, oofed up. But look at these. Like, these are elegant in themselves. Like, you could wear them by themselves. What a fantastic deal. Uh, you know what? I love putting these on. I love wearing them in real life. Just Sherry gets a necklace only in the 873 and um but i mean like i love that kind of smoky topaz look and they've added the chains in here so they're graduated so they come in to me i like to put the smaller one toward the face and then let it kind of go outwards um like i said this looks like an antique that you inherited and there's roxanne hi roxanne welcome so let me just make sure i have everybody in here all right, I'm just going to just do a little, okay, we've got Lisa, we've got Sharon, Sherry, um, Shelly, and Nancy, and Alana, and going in here. So all are welcome, everybody. My name is Linda. I sell paparazzi jewelry. If you are a person that likes paparazzi jewelry, you already know what to expect. The quality is fantastic. It's a fantastic jewelry line. We all love it, right? Um, but the beautiful part of it is it's affordable and it's five dollars. Don't be fooled by that price though, because I was. I was like, I'm not wearing no five dollar jewelry. But you know what? I wear five five dollar jewelry now and I love it. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's one of those things that I know this ring is incredible. And look at there's like square cuts in here. Almost like a um almost like a step cut going in there, like some kind of checkerboard thing going on. Look at that. And then there's bling on the side. So, yeah, I mean, you know, if you love, I love the ring since it has a small back. It does. It does have it. So, all of you petite ladies, okay, before I start my presentation, I just want to say a big thank you to Nancy because Nancy sent me this beautiful, and I'm going to show it to you. Um, it's a beautiful, she is in retro, and she is a jewelry holder. And wait till you see this. It's just going to blow your mind. Look at how gorgeous this piece is. Down to her bustle in the back, she has these little rosettes and these beautiful strings hanging down. Her dress is graduated, and her look at the fur around all of this, and over here the the attention the pearls, even the hat. Check that out. Thank you, Nancy, so much. I absolutely love this. It's going to go with my little collection over there of my little mannequin ladies. But um, I just wanted to give a shout out and show everybody how magnificent this little piece is because I was really, really, I was, I, I'll tell you what happened is it came to me and I opened it up. I go, I, I didn't order this. And I'm thinking, well, did I order this? And I'm looking through my credit card and I'm thinking, no, I, I didn't order this. And there's no, it just has a lady's name on the front. And so I went on the internet and it was this lady from this equestrian place in West Virginia. And I'm thinking, I don't remember ordering anything from that. So I actually um, called. I looked, you know, I looked up the number and I called. I got an answering machine and, you know, I said, you know, my name is and, you know, I, I have this. I, I'm not sure why I'm getting it. And so I'm, I'm busy. I'm, you know, on the phone. I'm doing things for my mom's situation. And this phone beeps in and I didn't answer it. And it was the, this lady and she said, oh, that was a gift for you. Oh, uh, we didn't put the name in the box. I'm like, no. And then she said it was Nancy. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. And I mean, I just really, really love it. So you know what? 
that's one of the benefits of doing what I do here. I always tell you guys, I just love what I do. I think it's a lot of fun. I love kind of getting ready for the moment to go on and show you all these fantastic jewels. And now look, if you have this ring, and I also have a lot of these, this is number 60, but it matches this whole thing a lot. So if you have petite fingers, maybe you would wear this on a middle finger or the pointer finger, but uh, this is a piece. So know that I have, I have a whole lot of these because when they came out, I bought up the store. I love this design. And I figured I'll be in this till I pass it on to my kids so they'll have vintage paparazzi for sure. I love vintage too. I do love vintage. I love all of these. Well, we talk about this all the time. You know, it's like all of these beautiful ladies in the past that made Hollywood and the theater what it was. And, and they didn't have to do anything. It was just who they were. And so when you look back and you see these pictures and how they glammed them up and how they they did all of the um, the advertisings for them, you know, to go on. And they couldn't go out unless they had their makeup on and had an escort on their arm. And all of that is gone, you know. And I think there was this mystique to it that that a lot of women, like during the Depression and the wars and everything, they emulated this because they were afraid. They were afraid they weren't going to be feel, feed their children or maybe if they got their hair cut short when they had to wear it long, they could look like the 1920s flapper, you know, all those things. So it kind of gave women hope to, that, you know, they too could be part of this machine. And I don't think the machine should have ever left. I think they should have left it alone and left them up there. But that is just my opinion because when you get fancied up, and when you put on your finest, you do feel good inside. You feel very good inside. I don't care what size you are, how old you are, any of that. I mean, it goes from, you know, being a young girl at 13 up to a lady who's 90 and still has has it going on for whatever reason, how she can put it on. So, you know, it does give us that kind of like star hope. And that's kind of the things I like to post to my page. You know, if I find an interesting picture of somebody that I think really hasn't been the picture out there of them, I like to post it just because um, it's nice to see a leopard coat once in a while or these fashions. And, and do they tie back to the jewelry? Absolutely they do. Because it's all about this. It's all about the style that you're wearing. You know, I just have just a plain black top on but by putting this piece on I am ready to go wherever and Sonia I mailed your stuff today so honey you're going to be getting it real soon and welcome and hello and I'm glad you came back so yes this is the fashion fix if anybody I'm going to order it on January 4th if anybody's in on any part of this it is it's it's stunning I I just my my jaw drops when I go to put it on. I'm like, well, these are one of those bracelets. It's like, honey, can you help me with my bracelet? I do really good on this arm, but this is my eye watch arm and I can't wear it there. So my husband's got these big kind of construction kind of hands and you can see him with these little thumbs trying to get that little thing in there. It's really kind of funny. So um, yeah, so I have a lot. I'm going to get started and we're just going to move forward. Again, if you see something you like, I'm going to hold up a number. You just say sold, put that number down in an emoji. And the, for those of you who didn't hear yesterday, as of January 1, I'm signing up with comments sold. So we aren't going to have any cases anymore of anybody getting lost in the shuffle and somebody claiming and nobody, because when you claim, if I have one piece and you claim it, you get it. The good thing is if you change your mind, then it goes back into the stock and the next person in line who wanted it will get it. So I'm really excited about all of that. You know, I really, yeah, you can, can you pre-order? Yes, absolutely. I'm um, Sonia, you want the whole set? Um, of the, this magnificent musing. The whole set is $20, you know that. I mean, well, and Sonia, you know, I, I think you're also a consultant too. We have a lot of consultants that watch each other. We all do, I do it too, you know? We learn from each other. What we learn though isn't, it, it, we all sell the same thing, but what we learn is the presentation of it to you so that you would like to feel like this too and wear this beautiful jewelry. Some have other motives. Some are trying to, you know, climb and go high and whatever. My story is I just like what I do and it will go where it goes. And then I'll just have a whole lot of beautiful jewelry and a whole lot of beautiful people. So let me put down Sonia for the whole set. Um, this one is just mouth watering. It is. Oh no, I'm going to sign up January 1st for common soul. 
I will be doing it. Um, I've come, I've been on a, cons a consultant for a year now. And, you know, like with everything, there's the ebb and flow of like, how does the merchandise sell? But um, I'm at the point right now where the administrative tasks of what I do are taking way too much time in my day. So I'm going to come and sold because they'll do a lot of things for me, like inventory and billing and, you know, tracking who gets what first and then put this on a waiting list. You will also be able to shop in your cart from like, say, let's go Saturday to Thursday. You can go in your cart. You can take stuff out of your cart. There's no penalty. You can add, you can remove, you can go to the website. You can see everything that I have. It will no longer be in Facebook. I mean, we're going to, it's going to be a little bit of a transition to get everything moved over and into it, but the shopping experience will be primo for you guys. And it'll be a lot easier for me to say, okay, we've got that area covered now. I don't have to worry about Facebook dropping anybody or somebody not putting an emoji on there. If Facebook goes down, I'm still running on the comment sold app. So that's another beauty. Although I will probably do all of them through Facebook only because there are people that will be coming in that don't know about me being on that application. So um, it's exactly really exciting. Yeah. So um, January 1, I'm signing up and then they'll just, you know, we'll work on my inventory and get all that and, um, you know, bear with me while I do my learning curve. But this will allow me, if we can manage all of that, see everything I, I get here, I put back to the business. So my whole goal here is to buy the hot, the new, the greatest, the latest and anything else in between. And I can only do that if I can move out some of these administrative tasks here and do more of this this interaction to show you what I do have so that if you buy it, I buy more, you know, it's just that kind of thing for me. So might be TMI, but that's where I'm going with this whole thing. I will absolutely. In fact, my lives are going to be here Wednesday and Saturday, just like we do them, but with common soul, because I don't have to do time to, when I say inventory, like say I have a package of 10 necklaces. After each time we go live, I have to go in there and count how many were sold and update my database. So when you want it there, you're looking, you say, well, she's got 10, but if I didn't update my inventory, I might not have any. So this is the kind of thing, and it's very tedious to have to update your in inventory, especially as it grows. And then on top of it, to track everybody's invoicing. The good part about this for everybody and me too, is when you get your invoice, it's going to have a picture on there of everything you bought. And I have tried really hard to get a picture through my Square um, situation right now with the Square and the um, PayPal, but sometimes it just, it can't get that image on there. Maybe people have it down. I couldn't get it down, but this will, on your invoice, you'll have a picture of what you bought and that'll be great. And then they do the invoicing and then I review them and then we process them here. So that takes about 70% of the administrative task out of this so that I can come and do more lives and show you more jewelry. And then you get it hot off the press and not have to wait for me to go live on a Saturday or, you know, put a little flash sale going on in my little VIP group. I just think it's more personal. I just think you're going to enjoy it a lot more. It's really going to be a streamed light and shopping experience. If you're laying in bed at night and you can't sleep like I couldn't sleep last night after my two mile walk, you can go on your phone and you can look and say, you know what? I, I Instead of going to eBay, you come to Linda's shop. Does she have something? And then you buy it right there. You put it in your cart. And then at the end of our, you know, probably new people will get billed right away. But the, the people that are in the tribe, and anybody can be in the tribe, you know, you'll have that grace period of from this time to this time to take things in and out of your cart. So we'll get there. It's, you know, I'm two days away from signing up for this and there'll be a transition. But yeah, I am definitely, I am not going anywhere. I love what I do. Um, I might have mentioned too that my husband and I, pandemic, you know, where the pandemic is going, we're going to have to see. But our, our goal is to buy a second home in Florida starting in um, September. We're going to start looking. Um, we just kind of want to see where, you know, can you even get on a plane? That's where the problem is, you know. Um, if it's really bad, then this doesn't go anywhere. But if we have this, then I will be broadcasting from Florida too, because we'll be able to go down there anytime. So that'll be fun. You'll see, you know, palm trees and margaritas, and then you'll see me here with my background and it'll be a lot of fun. So, you know, what? just stay with me. 
and you know share with your friends so we can keep this whole train moving and growing and everything you have any great ideas you want to share on my page or any kind of neat fashionable things or something that uh, is of old that was something that shouldn't have left let me know we'll put it out there we can we can build this whole thing you are you are my machine here you are the the reason i'm in this is because i want I love that stuff. I love fashion and I love designing and creating. And the more creative ideas you have, the more I learn, the more you learn, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. You know, and uh, they're not giving them to us yet. You know, everybody else. And I agree. The healthcare workers need, need them. My mom in the nursing home just got hers today. So I feel like they're moving on that end too. And when it comes up, we're all going to have to be vaccinated or we're not going to be able to eat. That's, a, that's what I think is going to happen. Um, you know, my husband and I were talking, well, we could drive our car, but then you have to go to restaurants on the way down. You have to go to gas stations. you got to go to a hotel. Um, you might as well get on the plane and go for four hours, put your little moon cap on, you know, your little shield and your thing and get off in four hours and then just go to your place. And if you have to eat out, then just get the curbside and bring it home. But you know what? You're, you're at a beach. You're going to be at a beach, so you can go there and you can walk. Um, I don't know. I don't know where most of you live, but I'm in Wisconsin, and we got hit with like a blizzard last night. And honestly, the the older you get, the harder it is to deal with colder weather. It just is. And so we decided that we're not moving down there because our home is here, but we will spend a lot of time. And so will the family, you know, just, you want to go this weekend, you go ahead and go. So it's so exciting because I can't wait until I can, I can make this whole thing an experience for you too, for you can travel when I travel. If I go down there and I'm sitting on the beach, there doing some jewelry show. You get to come along. Is it killing me? It's killing you, killing me. It's going to kill me too. Um, but tell me, Galen, do you feel any different or is it like a regular flu shot? You know, did you have any nausea or headache or anything like that? Body aches other than that? Well, it's not a blizzard, but I'm going to tell you something. A lot of snow happened and everybody was out doing their snow blowing and snow shoveling today. And that's not the reason I'm going. I love Florida. I love the warm weather. I love the beach. I love everything about it. So I feel like it's just time. I've worked my whole entire life taking care of people. So now I want to go do what I want to do. And everybody's welcome to come along, you know, come along and visit, come along and, you know, be part of the, the, the hoop, the hoopla, you know, but anyway, but that's further down the road. We really have to see where this year goes, but you know, he's been looking, I've been saying, well, yeah, you know, we could do this and this would be fun. So, all right, I'm going to get on the first piece so I don't take up too much more of your time. Well, you know what, Galen, that is really good that you only feel it at the site. And I see Debbie came in. Hey, Debbie, how are you, honey? Um, we were just talking about all the fun things. I'm going to get common sold. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's going to track at the top if I have like 10 pieces it's going to sell the 10 pieces and then it's sold out and you'll be able to see that. I try to manage that from what I do right here to do this sell out. But um, the whole thing is going to be just beautiful when I get it done. And there's Shaylee. Oh, hey, Shaylee. I know. I, be, well, if you have lived in this state for your entire life, it was fun when you were a kid probably fun when you were in your like, you know, um, 20s and 30s because you could go skiing and all that fun stuff. But as you get older, the cold weather goes to your bones more. Um, it's hard to maneuver. There's thing called black ice that I've already fallen on in my, on my area where we keep it really clean. It was one of those days and I was walking out to my car and boom, I went down and I literally thought I broke my wrist. Like it happens that fast. And so, you know, my concern is that it's, you know, there's also hurricanes and a lot of traffic and bugs and all that stuff down there. So do I want to make that my home? Not, I don't think I do, but I really like to go there four to five times a year when I say, hey, you know, I've had enough, I want to go. And then you would like to have this one, this beautiful one here. Yes, on my left hand, because sometimes it looks different over there. This is part of the fashion fix, everything I'm wearing today. So if any of this you want, that's $20, like why not, right? So $20 for this Magnificent Musings, I'm taking, um, if people want it right now, I don't see your name on the list for that one, Jane, but if you like this one, I'll put you down for, 
um, a number 60 ring for Jane D. And I'm telling you, I did buy a boatload of these because I absolutely love this ring. I think everybody should have one. <laughs> if you haven't bought one yet, put it on your wish list because I'm telling you, it's got the thicker back, but it's just so beautiful. They also make it with a clear and an Aurora Borealis. And so when those come in and I can get them, I'm going to buy a boatload of those too. And alligators. Yeah, they do. They do. In fact, I was talking to a friend because she's younger than I. We used to work together at the medical college. And I said, hey, how did this happen? I was with one with the Florida dream. And now you're living down there with your three kids. And I'm still up here. And yeah, she loves gators. And she said that she, well, she lives near Tampa. And she has a beautiful home because it's more new construction down there. And she said that, um, but there are alligators. Well, she called them crocodiles, but those in her Africa. Um, she said there are alligators in the ponds and lakes. So you can't swim there, which I don't have a problem with because I wouldn't swim in them anyway. But she said that there's a little baby one now that's by this kind of stream where they're at. And so when he, he or she gets a little bit bigger, they're going to have to relocate it like the, the Florida, you know, pet control comes in. So this one here, honey. Okay. Jane D, I will put you down for this ring unless you want to get the entire set. This here is a lobster claw. And look at, I mean, you know my wrist size, everybody. And look at, I'm just putting it here, and it's still big on me. So um, if you just want the ring, I'll put you down for that one, Jean. Just the, um, the ring on that. Um, oh, yeah, you do. I thought you had it. I really did, because you came along. You bought, like, a whole bunch of rings one day. So, so um. Yeah. Yep. I definitely have you down for that one. I have it for the ring. And then of course these earrings, but the necklace comes with its own little earrings. So I won't take up too much of your time, but you know, these are just, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what this is about. This isn't about me doing what I'm doing. This is about for a whole year, we weren't able to dream. Not one of us, not one of us was able to make a plan, go anywhere, do anything, see anybody, um, maybe have our heart broken because family members are in nursing homes. You can't touch them. You can't feel them. You can't love them. We have all been in the same place for one whole year. So if we don't start this year out with a dream, even if we can't get there, we're going to go crazy. So Get your dream and your wish list together and start marking down, I want to travel. I want to go here. I want to have a picnic. I want to go to a church festival. Whatever it is that you couldn't do last year, I want to go to a restaurant. You know, I want to go to a place where I can have fun and I can have my family and I can hear music. And so if it turns out that this is another year like the last one, I can live with that, you know with the hope that sooner or later it will go away. Maybe it'll follow the last pandemic and be three years of this horribleness. Oh, thank you, honey. But so just really quickly, it's just please get out your wish list and start making your dream right now because if we don't make those dreams, it's like all of this. Why do we wear it? Why do we buy it if we can't go anywhere? And what have I been saying all year long? Buy it anyway, because when that day gets here, you're going to be able to put it on. You're going to feel like a babe. You're going to be so glad you bought it. It's going to fit. It's all those things that we love about jewelry that we would have worn in that year. You know, some of us don't, I don't leave the house anymore. I'm, I'm housebound. Got the kids here, virtual school, the whole bit. You know, I don't leave. So this is like mine kind of primping time. Oh, get the whole hair out. Get the makeup out again. Why? Because I love doing that and I can't do it. So you just get your wish list together, please. Whatever your wish list is and then shoot for it. And if you can't get there next year, we'll flip it into the following year. But these are just dreams. So anyway, let me get going on this. All right, the first piece is a brand new pair of earrings. And I'm going to call these festival earrings because they are. This is number 942. Right here, look at these. They look like you bought them in Spain. There is so much. Let me get this on the um, lens here, just so you can see all of this right here. All of that stamping on here, design work. You have that orange bead in there, which just looks like summertime to me. And the length is a little bit longer, but it is fun. I mean, this, your tank top, gauze skirt, sun hat, you're off. You're off. You're going. In fact, 
if I ever do get to Florida, all I'll have in my closets are just, you know, long flowing skirts and tank tops and some sun hats, a sun umbrella, and a couple pair of Birkenstock shoes. Um, I tell my husband we'll go down there. By that time, I'll be in a bikini, but, you know, don't hold your breath, right? <laughs> so anyway, 942. This is brand new, and I have a good number of these. So just let me know if you are interested in these. We can make a night of this. And you know why? Because most everybody doesn't have to work tomorrow. So it's kind of like a Saturday night where we can say, are you ready? Should we keep going, right? Oh, if anybody's wondering about the hair today, all right, this is Envy, Maya, and Light Blonde. This is my hair color. I got most of my hair out in front here. You can see it. Um, but yeah, she's a beauty. And then here are those hair ties I talked about. The ones that I put on the course of the Jewel Lady page. They got the wire in them. You put them up, you twist them, you can pull your hair back. They're great. So um, if anybody's wondering at all, and here's the length on it. You know, it's just a fun one that you can put on real quick. Shows your earrings, shows your jewelry. And that's our beauty tip for the day, right? All right, so 943 is the next piece I have. And this is... I only was able to get four of these, but I just don't even know. <laughs> I can make it anywhere. Is that New York, New York? Maybe from the Wisconsin song. Listen, this is my hometown. I'm not leaving it. I'm not moving from here. That That's not going to happen. I love my hometown, but I hate winter. So that's why I'm doing this. And I just think that everybody needs to have a dream. That's all. So 943. Check out this bracelet. All hammered, red crackle stone. It will fit. It looks like, I mean, it looks like a, a piece. That's all I have to say. It's like a holy wow piece. It takes up a lot of your arm. Now, I do have it on not the right way because I have this other bracelet down here. But if you're going to dress up in any of the red crackle stone, this would be a fantastic asset for that on your arm. Because I have a lot of red crackle stone. You probably have seen it come up. So that is right there, 943 red crackle stone. It's almost like a gladiator bracelet in a way, but very southwestern. So that's number 943. Well, and you know, like my friend Lisa on here, she was married and lived in Texas for like 20 years. And I don't know, I think there's some people in here from Texas too, but... You know, like she talks about it too, like she misses all those really, you know, hot days and all the things you can do down there. Of course, she loves it. She's from up here too. But, um, you know, sometimes you you can have the best of both worlds now. You can Skype everybody and get on an airplane. I mean, you're, look at, they're, they're probably even on half of the um, airlines. They're going to drop them down to $57 one way. So, you know, as long as you wear your moon suits, you should be okay, right? All right, here is a wrap, and this is brand new, and this is gorgeous. This is really pretty. And I did not take one out. I only have three of these. I'm going to take it out of the paper. With the wraps, I decided I am going to keep them in the paper because they are leather, and I think the leather is better protected and won't get dried out. So you'll see that. But look at this. It's one of those really long ones here. Training snowflakes for palm trees. Hey, not for all the time. I will still be back here. I'll still be doing that. First of all, it's just, I always call it my up north, down south cabin. Right? Everybody has a cabin up north. Nobody really complains about that. Look at this. Look at this. You know, will I get there? I don't know. But you need the dream. I'm hopeful. So that's how it's going to look on your arm. These are also, this is number 946. I only have three of these. But you want to make life interesting, don't you? And there's another one where you can make it as a choker. Now, I'm not, I'm definitely not choker material, but you can do that with this one here. It is a very cool wrap because when these go on, they look like bangles and it's just in that white suede leather. So when you put this on and it has the three settings, so anybody with a small wrist to a large wrist can wear this one and then you snap it. And I will do that right now. And then what you're going to get is how you fix it on your wrist. But I mean, that's a lot of bling for a whole affordable price. Number 946. So 
If you haven't done so already, please share this with your friends. Share it with them um, if they like jewelry, if they like to be part of a tribe, if they like to feel like, hey, it's Wednesday night and I feel like I want to see some cool things. I'm going to do my darndest to get everything I can that's going to really appeal to everybody because it's just, it's such a fantastic line. I say that all the time. But 946 was for that one. But don't forget, on top of your wish list for jewelry, put down the wish list for you. What is it that, what is it this year that you want to have more than anything in the world? Is it personal? Is it physical? Is it want a better health? Is it, you know, um, being able to, whatever it is, put it on the list. Because if you don't put it down, you know how fast the months go. And then you're into March and April. And then you're into July. And then you're into September. And now we're back at the same spot. And really, you haven't done anything. And you're another year older, but no wiser, right? So here we go, 947. This one here, I, I think this is like the second time I showed this one. It is really cool. It has that crackle stone in white, a silver bead, and a round, round rondelle with bling on it. Right there. So it kind of makes it feel, again, they should make this ring here, I think, in a turquoise. Because I always say, paparazzi, if you're listening, turquoise blue turquoise with diamonds is so elegant it looks so fabulous on you take it out of that kind of simply santa fe look and you throw it more into a fiercely fifth avenue very chic look so you will get those earrings there with it this is the necklace let me put this on the bust for you so you kind of see where it goes now this is already using the two inch extender so it can go shorter if you need it to go shorter with up to a bit. But look at how robust that chain is. So it's really a very well-made necklace, which, you know, going through a lot of this jewelry, I was noticing just how well-made a lot of it really is. And it's a very good brand. And that's another one of my goals. I'd like to go to the paparazzi, you know, corporate headquarters in Utah, just to see what they do there. You know, how do they make it? How do they do it? I like getting involved in all that you know what's the design team doing you know what are they doing with all of this I think my conversation with common soul the guy was like I'm going no no tell me you know can I run a report that tells me I have one piece left in yellow how many of those pieces to because if I want to pull a show together and the guy's going well we could try to do that for you but you know I'm I'm not sure we can and I'm like you know, because in my mind, it's like, you know, I've got like a database mind. So I'm like, well, you know, I could pull out, let's do all black earrings with bling. You know, let's pull this out. So I actually asked him, I said, well, 947 for Kit Kat. Um, I actually asked him if do you have a suggestion box, you know, because when you're working in the trenches, you get all the ideas. And he goes, well, well, yeah, you know, we can we definitely link you up with our support. So I was like, OK, so we'll see where that one goes. It's almost like a little puzzle when you think about it. So Sharon's going to get this one. And Sharon, this is your style. Totally your style. I can tell you that for sure. So, all right. Next pair is a pair of silver earrings. Of course, in hoops. And of course, I was watching TV last night and I was counting the number of women newscasters wearing hoops. There was only one that wasn't wearing hoops. I'm telling you. So this one's kind of cool because it's in silver and it's very kind of lacy on the edges. Think about this. How many ways can you make a hoop? Seriously. Well, if you came and saw my wall, in fact, I'll take a picture of it someday. I have gold, I have all the, I have all the gold and the, the um, silver and bronze and all that. They're all separated. And yet there's all these different designs. So here's one more that adds to the list. And every time I go in, I see another design. It really, it's mind boggling to me. Like how many hoops can you make? But they do. And that's just the style you want. Now are these, they're going to be a little bit more reflective. They're a little bit bigger. But remember I told you, even on TV, even more mature women are wearing bigger hoops. They just are. These aren't going to bother your ears. Of course, they're lead and nickel free, right? We all know that. Um, and they're light, so they're not going to bother you. And they reflect very well. So that is 948.
My hope is that this year the kids can get back in school. Oh, I feel so bad for these kids. You know, it's, it, it's fun for a while, but then you know socially how much they're missing, and that's really awful. But we'll get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get to a place where we come back to a point of normalcy. We will. Because we just will. That's, we're, 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 that's what humans do, right? 949. Here's another pair of hoops. These are like twisted in the black metal. Again, bigger. But that is what's coming out. I pick up all kinds. I'll pick up the big ones. I'll pick up the small ones. I'll pick up the gemstone ones. The riveted ones, the copper ones, any ones that you think are out there, I'm getting them. Even if it's a smaller number, I'm getting them because someone's going to come to me at some point and say, do you have any gold hoops? And then I'll be able to put that out there and it'll be like a smorgasbord of hoops. And that is it right there. What I did notice is that more of the millennials on TV are wearing the bigger hoops. But that, that stands to reason to me. So, But it doesn't mean we can't do it, right? We can do whatever we want. All right. It's, it seems like I put this together that I would show you hoops and hoops, and here's another pair, but that's not really how I put these together. I just put them in the bucket, and I didn't even notice what I was putting in there. But I guess it's a good um, thing to do this because I showed you silver, and I showed you black, and now I'm going to show you a pair of gold. But they're also in a very different design. So let's just, right here, 950. Look at these. They're thicker. It's almost like they melted two hoops together and then tapered them off in the back. They're very reflective. Look, like that's a powerhouse earring right there. And when you turn, a lot of reflection. What I do like about their hoops, I've mentioned this before, is they seem to go out from the ear when you put them on. Some hoops and other ones, they come, they, they lay flatter to the face. I like these because they kind of lay out from the face. And then you can see more of the design. But when can you use this? You can always think of what do I have in my jewelry wardrobe? And then I want to switch off the earrings and I want to put something else on. That's when you go to the hoops. Are they like the first thing that you're going to buy? Well, if you're a hoop lover, you will. But most of the time, they're going to be complementary to what you already have and how you can switch it up, how you can make it look different too. So just keep that in mind. Or at least that's my opinion. And then um, these are for people who have clip-on earrings, ears, and that. And then, of course, you have the comfort back. There's that creamy pearl. And then you have that ballerina setting all around it in the bling. Classic style. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get any classier than this. These are great like job interview earrings, no matter where you go or what you're going to do, because people all love that. It's very classic, very pretty, um, sweet, very sweet looking. And it just has an edge of more elegance, regardless of where you're going to go with them on. They just have that little bit of an edge. I brought this one out because this was a really popular one, and I did buy a decent number of these, so I'm bringing it out today. Because I have one, and okay, 951 for Galen. All right. And these are great if you want to give your ears a break. And sometimes we do. You know, sometimes we're just like, I, I just don't want to put earrings on right now. Especially with a mask, because, you know, sometimes they can pull. So, yeah, I think that having those, that like, if they kind of pulled off when you have it, you wouldn't be losing your ear or anything like that. This next thing I'm going to show you, it's almost like a must-have. Like, if you're going to do anything in your jewelry wardrobe, I have this in black, I have it in white, I have it in silver now. These are great. This pearl necklace that has, and I'm going to pull this out so it's more asymmetrical, these clear beads right there, like a silver bead. They're stations, and there's three each and three each, and then you're going down, and it's not enough to say, is that all silver? or? But all of a sudden you see bling. And then you come to the end, and it's there. Why I like these is that you can wear them just like this. Put them on. Now, again, this has been in a bag. So I say 
just wear it for a while and it will come out of that bag shape. You can wear it just like that. You can put something else down the middle. You can wrap it around twice and wear it like that. Very classy. For the amount of money you're spending, one in each color of this will stretch your wardrobe a lot. And it won't look like you're wearing the same piece of jewelry. It might even become one of your favorite ones just because you can do a lot with this one. And that's $9.53. And I have seen a lot of, and you have put them on. And so here we go again. You know, um, my daughter goes to work, but she works with uh, in a dental clinic. And so they wear their clothes and their mask. She doesn't get a chance, okay, Debbie, to dress up a lot. But now what we're doing is we are just dressing up because we want to put it on when we go out. And I've seen her wear it and it looks good. So I'm going to get this here for Debbie. And like I said, I have these in the other colors and they might be coming up. I pulled a lot of stuff out today. So um, just kind of watch for that. It's going to be the same. And basically the name is Girls Have More Funds. Like funds like money. Well, let's hope so, right? But this is a silver necklace. They call this a silver one. So that's something to think about. Um, I think that pearls can enhance a lot. And just doing that. Okay. Just wearing them just adds just that dimension of elegance. And you can see when someone has them on, even in a picture, it just it, it just looks really good. Period. I'm getting, I'm getting my little tag thing ready here so I can... Start writing on it here. All right. So on that pearl necklace that we have, oh, 953 for James too, Jane B. All right. A great investment. And I think so because of those little sparkle stations in there. Just enough light. Just enough light coming at you. Well, I'm excited about the fashion fix, too, because I'm, I'm really hopeful that I can get in this time and get everybody's uh, fashion fix that they want. All right, this next necklace, or actually it's a bracelet. I bought two of these. One was sold. I didn't even show it. It was sold. Um, I have one left. And if I would have known, or maybe I can go back and get it because um, there might be more in there. It's the um, Urban Bracelet 954, and it kind of has almost like a cat's eye or, and these are, these are really weighted stones. They're, they're not plastic. They're almost like stones. And then you have all those lava. I hate these little things. It's like the, the lava's uh, bead here. So what can you do? The essential oils, like I've talked about before, where you can take your bottle of essential oil. And I know I have one here because I use it all the time. Well, now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. This is one of my, um, Uh, 951. Yes, I got. I definitely got you for 951. Right here, Galen. 951. Right here. Um, this is stress away, and it smells divine. And when it came, I put the roller ball on it. And then what you do on this is you roll your essential oil on the bracelet, whatever your smell is. You know, men tend to like sandalwood. They really do, and it works well with them. So. Yes, this could be a uh, unisex man or woman. Here we go. I have a larger wrist, so that's how it's fitting. Okay. A man could get this on. Um, most men aren't going to put their essential oil on there, so you kind of sneak it on there for them. But I have one left. And if I see that there's really a need for more of these, look at that little kind of connector bead there. Um, I'll absolutely order more if they have them in stock. I did not see them, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to just get a feeler out there to see if anybody likes this. But I just thought with that kind of, I call it a cat's eye. It's not really cat's eye, but it's it's really a stone. So I have one of these left and worth a try. And you would feel it's got substance to it. Yes. Oh, my God, Sonia. So, it, you know, and everybody's getting into essential oils now. So it's not like the new the hippie down the block or anything. And you feel so good when you put it on. And when you feel good, don't you project better. You feel like you can be nicer to the grandkids. You can be, because you're feeling this calm, this sense of calm. 
um, if that's what you're looking for. And maybe you're too calm and you're looking to kind of kind of beef it up a little bit. You know, maybe you need to have something with an orange smell to kind of wake you up and give you more courage or valor or any of that kind of stuff. And lavender. Oh, it is so relaxing. I have a brand new necklace, you guys. This really is gorgeous. This is number 566. And look at this. You're going to have the little earrings here, and they're going to have that color stone because that's what's coming on the necklace. This piece is weighted. There's almost too much light in here for this necklace. It's drop-dead gorgeous, but I'm going to get close up. Look, at it's silver with those kind of champagne-colored stones, and then this is like a loop-de-loop, -loop. and when I say that, look at the back. It's almost like they took it. It's not, it's not pieced together. It's one whole piece, so what you get is a very weighted looking necklace and I it right now it has the two inch extender on the smallest one but look at that I was actually looking through my earrings today to see if I had any silver with that kind of champagne stone in it and I I was looking and I was going fast so I didn't see any but I thought you know what I'm probably going to buy more of these because I think they're really pretty and, and if I can find some that, yeah, there you go. If I can find some of the earrings that I think will match, I think they'd be great. Because the little ones are fine with it, but so Sonia is going to get 566. But the piece, when you feel it, Sonia, you're, you're not going to believe how weighted this piece is. It's just really, but not weighted like it's too heavy for your neck. It's just, it feels almost jeweler quality is what I'm trying to say. It's just got that, ooh, it's got a little bit more oomph to it. So Sharon wants one of those too. All right. And just the last call on that one. Up close. I just like that loop day loop in here, like how they took it. It's not pieced together. It's been um, casted that way. So it really has that substantial feeling to it. And on this one, I wasn't able to get a whole lot. So I only think I got five of them. So if anybody is on the fence, um, certainly think about it, but I don't have a whole lot. So it might be something you want to put on your wish list and let me know if you want one later. And by all means, keep that wish list going because then you kind of get an idea of, okay, I can go back to my wardrobe now and maybe I don't need another blue necklace. Maybe I need to get something that has champagne stones and silver on it. You know what I'm saying? So be cognizant of what you already have and then build from there because sometimes we just get caught up in that smorgasbord thing like, oh, I have to have it because it's so pretty. If you want it, I'm here. I sell it, right? But, you know, do think about the whole picture. But I do have these earrings that I felt would match that. And these are brand new. Um, of course, they're hoops. But then again, hoops go with everything, right? But the reason these hoops are different is, wait till you see them. And you're not going to bother your ears. These are 531. Look at these. They're thicker. They're like tubes. So let me just pull this one out and put it on the bus for you again. Now this necklace is a little bit more daintier, but these are more weighted like tubes in a way if you see them from the side. So if you didn't want to wear the earrings with them, you put that in there. I think you kind of get in the gist of what I'm trying to say here is you, you really could pull up at the face. You could have a lot at the face and then you're coming down there and you're seeing. You could also swap out like a gold pair because this is gold down here, but it's whatever you want to wear. So the earrings are 531. And it may be that you need a pair of good silver earrings. And let me just give this one a little bit of time. That are a little bit bigger. Now look at all that light that's hitting these. That's very attractive, I think. Because I don't have to do anything. When you bring light to the face, you make the face look prettier. It looks younger. You know, everything we want to do that, you know, Botox can't. Right? But yeah, here they are. I mean, they're just such a pretty earring. 531. Right there.
but don't get scared. I have a lot of little boxes and I got a big one. So whoever wants to hang out, I'm, I'm good tonight. I try to make Wednesdays and Saturdays the night where I'm really going to come out with the with the punch, you know, like here, like we got a lot of stuff going on here. And then my little ones along the way will be, you know, the quantity is going down on this, you know, maybe I want to move the inventory so I can get, how do you have so much space here, you guys, you know? All right, 56. And look at these, your post in brass. There's your post there that isn't going to bother your ears at all. We all know that. All of you out there who love paparazzi, you already know you get it. That is just, that is all I'm going to say. You get it. You get that paparazzi is like the brand of jewelry right now that is hot, hot, hot. I know you probably love other designer jewelry. I'm not putting them down. I'm right with you. I bought it, but the price is a lot higher, right? So Sonia's going to do 56. And on here, you can get so many different looks. For such an affordable price that you go why not I'm not telling you don't buy that other stuff if you have the money and you have the one desire get it I know I love jewelry too I have a lot of it but for me right now I'm looking at the the value like if I can get now I'm going to tell you this little story I don't know if any of you know who Heidi Douse is she was on HSN fabulous jewelry I mean fabulous but expensive truly expensive well, guess what? My daughter's going around today and she's looking and all of a sudden this piece pops up. It's a Heidi Douse and it's exactly like the Z piece that I have over in my collection. And she said, does this look familiar to you? And I'm like, oh my God, who's the designer? Heidi Douse. Well, you know what? We know that one. It's going to be well over $100. This is 25 So who copied who? I don't really care. I don't care. But I'll tell you what, if I have to have Heidi Dolls, I'll go buy that one. But I'm not going anywhere. So why not get the one that's 25 And so when I go to the next occasion, I go, I love it. I wore it. I'm having fun with it. But it was 25 And now I've put the other money towards my 401k. So here we are, number 56, last call on these earrings. If you like a post earring and you need some in brass, because you know what? You'll get them in silver, you'll get them in gold, but brass and all the other um, kind of metals usually go on the back burner. Unless you're Nancy, and Nancy's like me, we are magnificent musing ladies. We always go for the black metal. But you know what? If you like brass, this is your time right here to get them. And on these, I have three left. This piece, this next one is, oh, I love this. Actually, this time I said, because last time when I first started, you know, I was like, oh, yeah. And I bought C pieces and then people liked them and I had to sell them because I, I, you know, I came into the deal. I was buying all of these Z pieces, even at $25 when, you, when you're when you buying all of them, you know, even at the cost, they get kind of costly. And so I thought this year when the Z pieces come out, I'm going to buy one for everyone else, maybe a couple of them. I'm going to buy my collection and no one's getting that one. That's going to go down the line to my granddaughter, to her daughter, to her daughter, because they are that good for the money. They are fat. Not even for the money. They're just fabulous, beautiful pieces. And if you want to rock the stage, you wear one of those. You're done. You're it. You're the it girl. So you know what? I try to make faux, faux Z pieces all the time. I'll take the necklaces and I'll double them up and try to make them look like a Z piece because I love that look. And you can do that with paparazzi and you can do those pieces for $10. So here we go. I'm going to show you this piece here. I'm going to get this thing here to sit right. A longer necklace. This is 142. They are your tassel earrings. It's going to have a stronger chain, but it's still sparkly. You can see it in my lights. And then you're going to come down and you're going to have all of this at the end. And what they are is three different pieces of metal that have different stones in them. And they're all on that eye right there, that eye that is huge. But they kind of lay and they kind of dance. So let me put it on the bus for you because this is a beautiful piece, truly. And I was looking at the um, Venus catalog today and I'm telling you, I thought they had I thought they had earrings in there that I was selling. And then I noticed they had a lot of the long necklaces again. And I thought, okay, well, that's another one that's not going to be going out of style. 
And you know what? They all copy each other, don't they? Okay, look at that on. Now, I just want to pull this one back because it lays better that way. But look, it's kind of neat. It's very long, so it's kind of a statement piece. But when you get close up, you see that. Now, I always say this. You could take this piece. You could double this through the eye of that little needle down there so you actually have two of them together like that and then put it around your neck. It's so hard to do this with a tag on it. But what I'm saying is you can see what I'm, where I'm going with this. You double it through twice and then it's closer to the face. Maybe you like this space in here. Maybe you're a little heavy on the top and things just don't balance right there. Because sometimes, for me, that's the problem with longer ones. They go to one side and one side over here. So, um, you know, or maybe you just like it long. But it is a beautiful piece. It's 142. And just want to make sure there you go. And I have about four of them left. One bucket. Like I said, don't get scared because I got these little buckets. I got a big old bucket there. So I should find something for everybody tonight. I did bring these earrings out again. I am running to the probably the like last four. Remember, I bought okay, 142 for Dan. Good move. I'm surprised more people aren't picking up on this because when you get it home, you're gonna you're gonna just freak out. It's beautiful. Yep, I got Lisa's yay in there. That means everything is all good. Um, I'm showing these earrings again because we all know that Oil Slick is hot, hot, hot. If I have new people that are in here that didn't get these, I still have these. 173. In fact, I have about four pair left. I had 20. I had 20 about three weeks ago, okay? So I'm, this is how fast they've gone. To me, there's no point in putting them in the vault yet because there's so many people out there who like oil slick earrings. Now, I've had people in the tribe here say, I've taken the tassels off and I wear them like that. If they are too long for you, then maybe you try something like that. There are jump rings on here, so it would be very easy to do to take off. I'm not telling you to take it off. This is how they're sold, but they are a fantastic earring and we all love our oil slick. And if you love your oil slick, and you know somebody else that loves it too, they're a friend, maybe they've complimented you, I still have these. I'm probably one of the only consultants left that still have some left. So that's 173. And all of you who are consultants out there, I know there's a couple in our tribe here, you know how fast oil slick, I mean oil slick you can't even get out of the paparazzi checkout without having it taken out of your cart. Isn't that the truth? If you're if you're a consultant and you've tried that, throw up some hearts because it's not just me. Okay, you took the tassels off, and yeah, and, and you liked them, huh, Deanna? I mean, because you could very easily take that off, and then they're manageable, especially with the masks and everything. Um, but you know what? Save the tassels and the jump ring because there might come a time you just want to hook them back on because it's summer and we're free and we're out there in sundresses and it looks fabulous. You know, you can do that too. So, cool. All right. Just started getting into the Urban line and I am loving it. I don't know what happens in paparazzi. It's like all of a sudden your mind just goes from, I'll never wear that, to, oh my God, I know I'm going to wear that, you know? Um, a lot of it has to do with your customers. The customers that say, I, I like that. I like that. And you go, ooh, oh, she likes it. Then I probably like it. So this is a brand new one. And I got, I think I bought three of these. So this is $4.58. You're going to have, it is the macro made kind of um, like a rope here. Of course, the, let me get over here. You got that ball, loop and ball that you put it on. Because it's unisex. It's going to be for a... Hi, Marilyn. Um, we sell $5 jewelry here. It's paparazzi, and we have a lot of fun. So stick around. Enjoy. If you like something, if you see me hold this number up and you want this, just say $4.58, sold. Put a little emoji, and I'll get it out to you. All right, look at this one. This one's called 
Riders, Riders stock? Riders, that's just Riders Black, Black Urban, that's it, Riders, like you're a, a rider of a horse. Look at, there's like these silver beads, but they they feel like they're metal, and they're kind of macrame into this. So, all right, I just took this out of the package. So it doesn't look good, but when you start to wear it, when it goes to your body heat, they start to rock. I mean, they look good. And you can mix that whole thing like the city grunge where you can put this on with something and maybe that little gold choker that you're going to wear, you know, up here and put that over there. And it just has that kind of edge like that's really creative how you did that. And I really like that. And when you think of how much that person spent to look like that, only 10 bucks, that's two cups of coffee at Starbucks. We base our whole life around Starbucks, don't we? You know, like, uh, well, if I spend $40 at Starbucks a month, I can certainly afford this, right? Just don't know what it is about that Starbucks, but it's just the measurement of time for, for everybody right now. So if you like that, that's $4.58. And um, they're great jean kick-around necklaces. Or if there's a man in your life and he will wear jewelry. Like, my husband wouldn't wear jewelry if I gave him a million dollars. Well, maybe if I gave him a million, but, you know, he's just not going to wear it. That's He won't even wear a wedding band. It's like I wear his wedding band. He doesn't wear it. So, um... You know, but there are just men like that. But then there's other ones, like my grandson, that he loves to adorn his body. So, you know, something like that, if you have a man in your life and you think he would try it, for $5, give it a go. And if these things start taking off and I start seeing more and more people like them, I'll get a lot more. Um, I'll get a lot more anyway. Because I'm just... All right, here's a brand new pair of earrings. I was going to show these last Saturday when everything, when the lights went out and I was like frozen and uh, all of a sudden I thought well maybe I'm at the end of my time with Facebook and I'm not supposed to go this long well that wasn't the case because I checked with a consultant in Cleveland and she told me the same thing is happening to her so it's not me but we will just hang on for as long as we can right and make sure in fact I should probably put my little power source in here while I'm talking about it um, and make sure that we don't because I, I feel like I have a lot to show so I'd like to be able to show it to you and we can all hang out 936. Look at these. Very light, very reflective chandelier type earrings, but not so blingy that they're in your face. Let me get up close on these, okay? Look at that. It's just the metal that's shining. It's not a bling, but yet they look like they have a bling to them, almost like they have a rhinestone thing going on, but they don't. So you turn and it's just like, wow, that's really pretty. It's just, it's not like some of them where they're just so long, but it has a little bit more length to it, but it's just really, really pretty. And it even catches the light no matter how you turn them. They're so pretty. Nancy wants these. All right, Nancy. And the problem, and I always say this in paparazzi and for maybe other consultants watching, you can pop up hearts too if you feel like that. The pictures they show do not show the justice of the of the jewels. So what happens, okay, you end up going, nah, I'm not gonna get that one. And then you watch another consultant and you go, oh my God, <gasps> those are beautiful. So you know what, I, paparazzi, you need to up your, your pictures because like this one here, the pictures did not look that good on this one. And I thought, I'm going to go ahead and get it anyway. They're gorgeous. So, you know, we'll get this. We'll get them straight on this, right? You know, we'll take over. We'll do, we'll do the show. That's it. All right. I only had two of these left. I saw everybody love this necklace. I went back into new releases and they still had this necklace there. And they had it with a bracelet. So I bought more of these. And I love the color on this one. Some of you might have already purchased this. Some of you wanted to. Some of you may be on the fence. Some of you didn't even know about it. But it is gorgeous. $2.99. It's going to start out with that color earring. That is a dupe for a London blue topaz if I have ever seen one. Then you're going to have a very, very good chain that's going to hold the whole piece together. And then what you're going to have, let me just get over here, is all of that color the silver piece in there, the silver bead, the little uh, blingy piece in there. It is so pretty. 
Again, if you love blue topazes, if that's like your stone, this color is a dupe for a London blue topaz. And on top of it, blue is so pretty, it's gorgeous. This is another case where you could put this on the smaller setting and another one exactly like this one on the larger and you could make this look like a faux Z piece only because of that color. Now, when I look at it, I mean, it is radiating this beautiful, beautiful color. When I see it on the screen here, it's looking darker than what I'm looking at. So you just have to trust me on this one, that this one here is, you will actually love this when you get it home. That's how pretty it is. So that's $2.99. But I was able to get four bracelets. I think I got four of these. Because they didn't have them the first time I went in. But they have them now. So let me show you these. Because I always like to get the bracelet with it, you know. Just because some people are bracelet people, and I am. So here's $9.45. This is the same bracelet, lobster claw clasp, somewhere in there. Here's the extender. So that means it's going to be like that one. It's going to fit everybody. And so what do you get here? For those of you who bought this before, and it might even be in your bag still because I'm only mailing out once a week now, but if you want the bracelet or you want me to check if you think you bought it or if I see that you did buy the necklace and you want me to, when I, when I go to invoice, if you didn't get the bracelet, you know, throw a bracelet in there, let me know. Um, Cause I only have four of them. But I mean, together these uh, rock totally. The, ne the um, bracelet is 245 and the necklace is 299. So, it it's absolutely wouldn't steer you wrong. It's just such a pretty color. Like, look at that color right there. So pretty. And again with the 245, and I'll just get real close on that one too, and that's basically what it's going to look like on your wrist. All of that luscious blue bead, some crystal I mean, like stones or bezel set, and then that silver. If I don't get it caught on my ring here, little thing. You know, I couldn't do that if someone paid me to do that. And now, now I got it caught on my ring. Okay, now I have it off. All right, so that's 245. Lots of fun stuff. That color is going to look really good in the summer. That's when you, I think people, if it doesn't get sold out before then, you'll actually, or if you get it, you're going to want to wear it in the summer because it's that pretty. These are a new pair of earrings too. I also have a charm bracelet that I think goes really good with these. And if anybody's interested in seeing that, this is 937. Very light. Has almost like a flowering appeal on this little disc and the button there's even some bling in there. There. Almost some hematite stones. You see all those? Isn't that great? And then these beautiful chains. Very, very light. And like I said, I do have, in fact, I'm going to go get it because it's hard to explain it. But I think you should see it. Maybe you don't want to wear a necklace. Maybe you want these longer earrings. And then on your wrist, something to compliment you there. It's perfect. All right, so we see these, right? And here is the bracelet that I'm talking about. This is $8.45. Now, here we go. These are just discs. I'll put this under the lens for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Very thin that way. There's some bling there. And then the other day, uh, there's like a more bling in that one. But then these are hammered. Very light. It's not a thick disc at all. It's almost like the same pattern that's on these earrings. But remember, these were made at different times. So this is what's new, and this is what I had in stock. But I mean, they're really, really compatible. Like I said, you wear this here, and your bracelet here, a pair of jeans, you don't need anything else. So $8.45 on the bracelet, if you just like that one, I can mark that down. I don't know how many I have of those, but I think I have enough. And then these 9 dollars Okay, And then this one here, I actually had in my one and done sale, and I decided to put them together as a purchase of together. You're gonna to either get this together, you can say 260, 262, this is my last one, but I don't want them separated, that's why I'm doing this, let me get this fixed. Um, this necklace here is of course our Tiffany style necklace in the green. I showed this yesterday, there's your green earrings. Only one of these left, so that would be five. If you, I'd like to see if someone's gonna buy this together. It's the same number, 262, it's the matching bracelet. You can say 262 set, or if you're just a necklace person, you can go 262N, or if you just want the bracelet, you go 262N, or B, sorry. Bracelet, necklace, or set. 
um, I just feel that somebody may want to buy this together and by having them apart like I did um, I didn't get that opportunity out there so anybody is looking for the last one in this magnificent set here with that gorgeous color green the whole set would be ten dollars it's 262 set any card thereof will be 262 N for necklace or 262 B for bracelet the lone ranger the lone necklace left all alone there all right let's see here I'm not seeing any movement at all so I hope I am not losing you guys again but then remember Probably by next week, I won't lose you again, because if I do, we just go right over to my other app. So if you could throw up some hearts so I know that you're still with me, you know, there's still the station, you know, the <laughs> earth, earth to moon, right? But the father's still here. Good, good, good. All right. I have an urban bracelet now, and it's in leather, and it's a tough-looking one. Again, man or woman, and I'm also going to keep this in plastic because I think it keeps better. So this one here is 938, and then, all right, you're going to have this buckle on here, brown leather. Look at how, I mean, this is like you went to the Harley store to get this. And then what you're going to do is... Like any, I mean, it smells like leather. Where do you get a leather bracelet for five dollars? You don't. Okay, you've been in any of those leather stores. You, you know, you don't touch this stuff at all. Let me just put. I'll show you how it looks on. Let me get this buckle in here the right way. This has never been bent. Never been bent to be put a buckle. I'm gonna bend it now. And so what this is going to be is like, I believe this is the front of the bracelet here. There we go. All right. So there, this is the bracelet around you. It's kind of tapered, but I believe this is meant to be like the front of it, the buckle look of it. So it's a man or a woman. It looks like it has a lot of size on there. I have, I bought, I bought three of these. So if, no, I'm, I'm, I can see it on my two. I'm shaking a little bit. It's not herbs. So anyway, here you go. If anybody wants to try that urban type look, you can wear this. You can bring out your tennis bracelets. You can put them on right with this. It's got a real tough edge to it, but it's also very rich because it is real leather. Believe me, you'll get it. You'll smell it. It smells like real leather. So, all right. So that's 938 and I have three of those left. You know, Facebook's been going wonky lately, and it's it's really, it's very frustrating. It's very, I mean, it's the only medium that we have, but it is what it is. Hopefully it'll get better. Once, it's, once it leaves me, I, there's nothing I can do. It's like, I'm done. Even when I look back on a feed, sometimes I'll see it, like, shaking, and I'm like, oh, and then you can't hear me. Not from this time, but other ones where, I'm, like, if someone said, well, I didn't order that necklace, and I just want to make sure that it wasn't, wasn't me. Uh, you know, sometimes people will say, I didn't order that, and they'll go, well, that's fine. You ordered two earrings and one necklace, but which one do you want me to take off then? And then when they see which one they ordered, they're like, oh, no, no, keep on it. So something like myself, I forget. I forget what I ordered. Maybe my daughter will say, well, what, what's in the package? I, go, I don't know. I forgot. Mm. 938 for Elaine. There's my girl. This is my bracelet party girl right here. And you know what? She's going to do some really smart stuff with this one. So, Elaine, make sure you take a picture of this when you have it on and how you have incorporated it into your look. Because this is this is cool. This is really cool. It's called Tougher Than Leather. So, that's a good one. I have, I didn't think I had any more of these. I have one pair left. Just one. And I'm going to show you these here. They're 254 and they are here, right here, that hematite stone with a little square ballerina setting. There's your post. This is how they're going to look on. Very small, but they are definitely pack a punch. They're gorgeous. They look beautiful on. On that side, too, you can see a lot of light on those. But this is my last pair. I thought I had my last pair in my other bag, but then I realized I had a pair on the wall. So um, that's right. If you like that earring, I don't know if they'll bring it back. It's the one that's been in releases. These are new earrings. These are really sweet. And they're, they're having this thing for this color bead lately. 939 these short wires let me go free look at these look at that color oh i'm telling you the color is awesome get up close there's your blink there's like two there's a lot of raw that beautiful stone there a lot you know what? i want to see back here on that blue necklace if it's the same color b 299 let's just look them up because it might be one that you could then swap out and get these earrings let's try it i think it is here's 299 here's this earring um no it's not exactly up here would make a difference. You could probably do it, but it's not exactly. So we can mix that idea or you can do what you want with it. That's why we do it here. That's why I show it. So we can get ideas while I'm doing it. But either way, that is a gorgeous 939 that goes to Lisa. You know, it's hot on Lisa to get the bunch of the pretty blue in there. But Lisa, you guys are posting some pictures there in my, in my area. I'll send it so that we can see your beautiful blue eyes there. She does have the, there's two girls that come on here that have absolutely, well, actually three. There's, there's Sherry. Sherry's got the really beautiful blue eyes from what I've seen. And then there's Lisa and then there's Stacy. Stacy doesn't come on all that much, but when she does come on, I don't know if you guys just got the most beautiful eyes. I probably say that about a lot of other people in our group here, but I don't get to see everybody's eyes. So, all right. So that's 939 if anybody else wants to pair those. All right. This was a piece I was going to show yesterday and it got tangled up. Put it back up on the board. Put a little paper out here though. 939 for Jane B. Beautiful, beautiful pair. Another instance where it was like a guess. Well, they look pretty. The picture didn't do them justice. I got them back here, and I was like, wow, I should have bought a lot of these because they're that pretty. 
But, you know, you live and learn, and then what happens is if you kind of pay attention to the name on here, like this one says Charmingly Cabaret Blue Earring, then the next time this style comes out, maybe they'll have a red bead or an orange bead or a green, and they'll say Charmingly Cabaret, it's the same earring. Maybe you have that same style that you like. Well, then, then you get it because you know you're, you're going to wear it the right length and everything. And um, you'll get familiar with it, and it'll help you purchase as you go along. So I always like to include the um, little wrapping there where I can. Let me go grab this finger that I couldn't show yesterday in my one and done sale because it got all tangled up. So I decided to hang it back on the board. If anybody's looking for a lanyard, this is a really, really pretty one. Right. This is number 737. Right here. Backwards. Breaking up. I hope not. More snow, right? Okay, yeah, more snow. All right. And the best of luck with this piece here. All right. So it's on. Ugh. Well, let's just keep going. If not, then I'll go back out and I'll come back on. But usually hard to bring everybody back in. It's a black metal. The first, this is a lanyard, so the first one's going to have a bling around that teardrop. Then you're going to have another teardrop that's just in metal. And then you're going to have the piece to either wear your uh, card from work or your mask. And then when you're done and you don't want to use it for that anymore, you can just clip that off with a little needle nose pliers and you have this beautiful piece. It comes with the, the little earrings on there too. But I, it did get tangled up in the bag, so I'm hanging it up now because I don't want it to get that more. But I mean, for a lanyard, that is really, really pretty. And I'll close up, there's the one with the bling. There's the black and that's just plain. And this is where, as Shelly said, what, she wanted a lanyard to put her mask on, which was a great idea. Let's say you go shopping, food shopping. You, you want to carry it with you, take it off. You can't breathe, you know. You have it right on your body. Or you need it to get into work or some kind of medical facility that you go to. You have to have this. So you have it. You clip it off, and then it becomes this beautiful necklace. That is 737. Now, I'm going to go hang this one back because it can get tangled. And I hope I'm not breaking up. my 737. I haven't lost anybody yet. I see, I see, so I'm going to keep going. All right, here's a piece that looks really, I can see everybody is like approving and their, their you know, thumbs up are coming through, so. Uh, well, if you guys want me to power down and come back up, I hope that we can all get in. I can do that. Should I get, should I thumbs up everybody if you want me to power down and come back up? Like, end this one. Bad sound. Okay. I'm going to go down, give me a couple minutes to try to get back up, and then come back in, okay? Yes, okay, I'm going.